So we're going to get this. So welcome, Jerry. And today we're going to be taking a look at this ship. So why can't I move? There we go. That's better. So welcome back. And uh, oh, what what's going on? What's going on with this turret? Why is it floating about underneath your ship? What's that going on? Uh, the oh, uh, the ship okay. is basically two pieces, basically. Oh, okay. Fair enough. To give it more firepower. So welcome, Jerry. Once more, what is your name uh, of the ship? What is the name of the ship? Uh, the general name is the AS Warlock, but the type is the Warlock class Titan. Okay, well it's pretty big, so yeah, got some sort of X-wing style fighters sitting in the dock here at the front, which is nice. Just going to move around the exterior and I'll sort of look at a few of the bits and pieces around here. Let's catch my eye. I'm liking how you've used a mix of hardened and normal hulls. Give you a bit more texture. Um, and like I say, I'm just going to move around the outside of the ship so people can see the detail because often it's missed. So we've got some nice little areas here with some extra bits and pieces. Green lights on the right. More turret hangers, just yep, I'll be a turret hanger then. Is this a hand build? Uh, yes, sir. Nice. It took quite a while. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. So, you've got lots of turrets. Turrets are nice, chunky, tough looking turrets. Plenty of lights, plenty of color, even though it's mostly gray. Got some torture magnets. What else have we got? <coughs> Nice engine cluster with finny, finny wingy bits with piston rods or whatever. They look very nice. Um, sparing use of colour, I guess, but it works. What's really got me is because of the bump mapping. If you have the bump mapping on, you can really see that texture when you've used the two different types of hull in the same colour. <coughs> that works. So here we go, we've got what looks like a shuttle dock, which is very nice indeed. And there's, oh no, 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 I'm wrong, it's turrets. <laughs> no, there's just more turrets, but it's interesting how you've mounted them. I might steal that, I should know better. It's getting, I'm getting tired, see. Go for it. So uh, what, have, what have we got here? More thrusters. I love the windows. I managed to get the glow coming off them real nice. It actually does look gives the impression of size, doesn't it? So oh yeah. More guns, more vents, pipes, struts, scaffolding, systems running behind them, lights, it all comes together and just brings out the ship, makes it feel that much bigger. So I take it, while well, I was seeing it being docked, is that actually a fixed ship turret? Uh, yeah, it, it so will not turn. It, it will. won't turn, yeah, but it'll. it's a big turret. <laughs> so, More or less. Yeah, I'm just trying to find the seam. Where does it attach? Yeah, we tried to hide it a bit, but... Well, we've tried to hide it pretty good, because... Ah, there we go. No, that's not it. That's... Ah, oh, right, you super it, so it clips a little bit. It's probably most visible on the underneath side. Uh, yeah. oh. That's the one. Mm -hmm. no. Can't find it. Mm -hmm. Kind of see three tur larger turrets in the back. It's right, docked right on that line of the forwardmost turret. Or the backmost turrets, but. Ah, never mind. It doesn't, doesn't matter. We saw it getting put on at the beginning. Just because I can't find the seam now just means you've docked it well. So yeah, good job. <laughs> and I'm tired. <laughs> I can't be bothered to find it anymore. I think it's here because I can see a little bit of clippiness. But I can't quite see where you are. Yeah, I can see a line now following it to here. Yeah, good job. It's hard to spot that. You'd think it was a glitch, but it's not. It's actually where the turret joins. Very nice indeed. Kind of inspiring. So there you are. What's the name of the ship again? 
I have the AS Warlock. AS Warlock. Now what I'd like to do is skip the interior, so just, if, if you've got a bridge, I'll show it. But, uh, uh, we don't really have too oh, much right, interesting that's in there. Okay, that's fine then, because I've better, basically I can see corridors, I can see large empty spaces, I've seen the core, great big area here, nice, I like that, I did that once. Exposed thrusters in little alcoves. <laughs> they just thrust away when you move them. It's good though, because really it gives you an impression that the ship is actually in motion sometimes. Because if you're in the ship, you've got no idea anything's going on if you're in there. No windows. Yeah. So, yep. that would be Jeria. Did you make this yourself, or was it part of a team, or what? Uh, probably about 80% of it myself. Uh, Techcore here did the other 20%. Nice. Need a lot of the engine cores and power and that on mm. the inside. Well, I'd love to get this in our proving grounds. So I've got a few uh, a few tests that for uh, big for the big ships and stuff. So great. Sure, I'd be happy to. Excellent. So thanks again, Jerry. Um, if you would like to fire a few of the weapons, uh, just fire them all at once, <laughs> if you can. Uh, don't worry about the turrets, of course. And uh, obviously, we get a good look at that. So we've got a few yeah, nice. There's those. It doesn't actually have any main guns at this point. Oh, I understand. No, it's fine. Oh, there, there we go. Main gun is firing. Yep. Firing gun is main. Excellent. Okay, so uh, do you want to turn your ship and fly yourself out of here? And thanks for coming to the lineup review. Okay. Thanks, Timino. Yeah, no problem. And off it goes. Very nice ship. So then, uh, I'm going to be moving on to the next ship in the review. So uh, thanks for sticking with it this long. And hopefully we're going to be getting on to the last couple of ships now. So 